Sasha's real creative, you know. He has a, a style of his own. He's he's not the overly flashy guy, but he got he has a great feet and he just he's just really creative player and creates a lot of chances for us going forward. He's never serious. You can't ever take him serious. He's he has like the sarcasm that's like uh, I don't know. If you're not if you have a if you're a sensitive guy, you might take it the wrong way. But uh, for the most part, I mean, everyone kind of knows that he's joking around all the time, so it's a it's a good uh, it's good to have him there. He's always good cracking jokes, and making everyone laugh. Sasha's a you know he's a good leader on and off the field and. And off the field, he's a bit of a jokester. He's a bit of a clown, and and uh, you know, kind of we kind of keep the team together off off the field, and, and provides us with good memories, you know, because team bonding is not just on the field; it's off the field as well. But you know, on the field, he's a good passer. You know, he, he reads the game well, and and he's he's a good player for us in the middle of the park, and kind of helps direct traffic. I think uh, Sasha's a good leader. Uh, you know, he's uh, you know he's, um, he's he's been with the full national team, so he knows what that's like. You know, uh, that's you know the highest level, and and he can come down and even help you know players like like Stewart and I and stuff like that. That you know he can you know see how that how that level is, and you know obviously we, you know Peter Norick is saying that we, he wants us playing just as you know the national team. So I think that's pretty important, and you know Sasha's a great leader, a good player, and uh, you know on and off the field. So. Artie, uh, Artie's a good attacking player. You know, he's one of these guys who's really deceptive and can really you know, take guys one on one. And there's not a lot of guys that you know when they get the ball at their feet, you know that they can beat anybody on the dribble and create something offensively. So Artie's a guy that we can count on when when he gets the ball, he can make things happen. Off the field, Artie, uh, Artie likes to be the joker off the field. You know, he he likes to hang out and crack jokes, and especially him and, and Stuart Holden together. They these guys are always wrestling. They're always talking back and forth, jibber jabbering, and then. Two minutes later, they're wrestling on the bed, and, and Stewart's always getting beat up. So he's a funny guy off the field. I think this year he actually learned how to kick with his right foot, and you know he he, he can actually kick the ball with his right. Before it was all left, he'd just say push this guy to his right, and he's not going to do anything. But I think he scored some goals with his right this year, and he's actually you know become a complete player. We've played together a long time, you know, since he was 10 years old, and uh, I still don't think he's managed to beat me from an opposing team. But you know, he's he's a good player, he's a good dribbler. Everybody knows he's good at going at people, but he could do with a right foot from every now and again. You know, his right foot's uh, the right foot struggling a little bit. But no, you know, Arturo is a good player. He uh, he's he's very dangerous going forward, and he's very dynamic and creative, and, and that's something we needed this team. A five-year-old's right foot, <laughs> but his left foot compensates for it, so. He's also another creative guy. He's real flashy. He has, uh, he, has, he has great feet too. And he's got a wicked left foot. So, um, I mean, if you give him the ball 1v1, he's, you have a lot of confidence that he's going to beat the guy and get something out of it. So, it's good having him out there. <laughs> 